love I love Alexander McQueen, and I think mm. Sarah Burton had huge shoes to fill, and she's doing an incredible job. Um, I love Stella McCartney, Perenza, Jason Mew, Alexander Wang. I mean, I could literally like could go on forever. We could wax on and on. <laughs> yeah, um, but like, and also Lawrence. I mean, I love H and M and Topshop, which we don't have in LA. It's here, and like that's great. I love Topshop. Um, and again, vintage. I'm a I'm a huge vintage shopper. <laughs> yeah, when you're in town, you gotta check out Joe Fresh. Just opened up. Um, I think it's their first store in the U.S. They came from Canada. It's like mm -hmm. another version of Top Shop or H&M. Oh, cool. It's pretty sweet. I would check it out. And Olivia, any designers that you're really into right now? I mean, your shoes speak volumes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I love Miu Miu for the Obviously. shoes and uh, Dries Van Noten, Proenza. You know, we call him. Uh, we call it Dries Van Awesome <laughs> on the tweets. <laughs> Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they know all about it over there. But I love the thrill of the hunt, too, and I love eBay for, you know, good deals on things that sometimes seem out of reach, and and uh, thrift stores, flea markets, ASOS.com. Oh, ASOS is amazing yes. because mm -hmm. you can see how the clothes are, you know, you can see how they move, because if you click on, like, a skirt and then there's a model walking down the, ru the runway, yeah. that's amazing. Um... So Olivia, a lot of times, you know, trends that may work in everyday life and real life don't exactly translate to television. Um, you know, are there certain things you keep in mind when you're, you know, considering what to put on the show as opposed to maybe something that you would wear on your own in real life? Like, do certain things work better than others? Well, I think the number one thing that doesn't work on TV is volume. You know, big, voluminous, flowy dresses. Well, even if it's like a liquid silk, it just mm. looks weird on TV. And fitted usually looks better than loose. Color looks great on TV, but sometimes, you know, you can OD on it in, in real life. Yes, it's true. Things. It's happened. <laughs> I've had people call it ODs. Um, and then, Erica, do you have any input into, you know, exactly what Jane wears on the show? Um, I know, Olivia, you mentioned that you know, once you two met, that sort of formed your idea of what it was going to be, but are you ever like, I would absolutely not wear that, or like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this, I have to wear it? Oh yeah, I mean, that definitely happens. The go it's, a, it's a real sort of collaboration, but Olivia, like you know, she said at the beginning, had created sort of mood boards for the character, and then as we talked, that those ideas blossomed, and you know, she'll bring in racks of clothes, and then we sort of mix and match, and it's a really fun process. And, uh, and and I think, you know, there's always things. I'm usually in love with everything. Um, but uh, but she's also made me, she was like, just try those pants on. <laughs> I wasn't like a huge fan of pants, I guess, before. Like, I was pant like, I have to wear jeans. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now I do, so there you go. And as Andy McDowell would say, you got to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> but she's so right. Yeah, I know. I mean, even personally, I mean, this is pretty much... At Lucky, actually, they call this the Janusiform, because I wear the same thing in different colors every day. But you know, I had a friend the other day. She was like, "You have to try this on," and it was a pair of pants that were not jeans, which I don't really do. But did you get a rash? <laughs> no, I mean, no allergic reactions to the corduroy. But you know, it was it was a new venture, and I think I'm I think I'm gonna take the plunge on. So always gonna try. Um, so. Uh, Olivia, is there? Can you talk about you know the differences between working on a show like Jane by Design and maybe something that you would have done with Entourage or other projects? Well, Jane is so fun for me because I have so many different types of characters. I have, you know, Erica, my muse, and then I have Lulu, the preppy queen, and I have mm -hmm. Billy, who's kind of punked out, and Andy, who's wearing, you know, the best designers. Her clothes are really fun. You didn't get to see much in the pilot. But, you know, Entourage was tons of guys, tons of suits. I, I did a lot of bespoke suiting for Jeremy and and uh, Rex. And then the women, it was, it was tight and it was bright. <laughs> <laughs> so many bandage dresses. Yes. Yeah, she. I, I will say Olivia is a genius because we have a huge cast, and it's a cast, a huge cast with very large wardrobes, and she has really created like very distinct personalities for each and every one of us, which is awesome to watch. It's really, it actually also, it what's really great is like you'll see these huge burly grips on set who are you know moving the equipment or doing the lighting, and they'll come up to Olivia and they'll be like, Olivia, I really liked Erica's dress today. <laughs> you know, it's like everyone on the set has become more educated, which is really.
fun. Uh, so do you have any favorite outfits from the show? Oh my gosh, I like so many of the outfits. Um, there is a... If there's a green, what is that? The green screen is that vintage? Yes, it's a vintage crinoline, bright emerald green. That's one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, with a too. little cropped like motorcycle jacket, leather mm -hmm. jacket. That's really great. And then I wore one of Jane's outfits to to like this another event that we did. These tweed pants, which I would have never put on myself, and I fell in love with. That have suspenders and like a little collar top. It's very um, Catherine Hepburny. Nice. Uh, 